Bum, bum, bum. Or we run low on prestige. Alright. So we'll do seek support. We're getting rid of all of this. We might as well go all the way to 100. We'll take the missionary. Take the 200 points. Make the generous donation. Because it keeps the clergy happy longer. And then I do like bumping stab. Is there a cap on Diplo Rep? Isn't this achievement really fast? Yep. That's kind of like the plan, man. That's the goal. Alright. Wouldn't it be easiest to rent against electors to have them die? Absolutely. For sure. I mean... Anything we can do to make electors die. Anyone that wants to kill an elector, we just want the electors to die while having Austria really like us a lot. It's better if we could be a, the a theology, right? Because they like to grant electorship to small countries that are um, that have that type of government, but it's still possible that he could give it to us. I don't know. There's a name redeem again? Oh, right. Sorry. Cleves should also just be back to Cleve. We had to restart. Rename Berg to the Sleevies. <laughs> Sleevies with his Sleevies. Perfect. <laughs> the Sleevies of Cleevies. That's great. Thanks, man. You've added some uh, some specialness to this run now. All right, so come up, coming up in November, we'll revoke that and give it to the burgers. Take the dipple points. We kind of need more force limits still, so I'll probably do maybe a little bit more development. We should wait till fourteen fifty though. Be good if we could drill, but I don't have a general yet, so I guess we'll do our old man. It's unlikely that anyone attacks us while we have allies, so we'll just drill. We could save money. That's also an option. If we get a claim on Trier, he's more likely to keep that fort active. But considering that he's got an alliance with Austria, I don't think we're ever going to be able to attack Trier. Probably better to fabricate instead. Oh my god, Cologne has no friends. Well, crap. If we get one claim on him, we can use that to isolate Nassau. I rivaled Nassau. Nassau has got multiple people with claims on him, including mines. This could be an ideal situation if we were to attack Nassau with show strength, separate piece, Cologne for humiliate, show strength on Nassau, mines kills him, Nassau comes back, we re rival him, show strength on him again. The only tricky part is we'd have to, in the if we wanted to do it that way, I'd have to beat four attack. Uh, yeah, Nassau plus Cologne plus Hess plus Platinet. Can we rival any of those guys? Rival Cologne. Alternatively, we could do the show strength on Cologne, do it the opposite direction. What I don't like about that though is that then we have a 15 year truce with Cologne. We could just not go for the show strength. That's also an option. Just declare a conquest war on Cologne, show a separate piece of Nassau for humiliate, conquest some clay from Cologne, get a fort. It's probably a good idea. We've already lost stab. Sweet. Nice air. Air Johan Vondermark. Vondermark, Vondermark. Johan, Johan. We're very good at naming our kids Johan. And then Johan spelled slightly different. Nope. He'll get the, uh, the number after he becomes um, no longer a child, right? Johan the second. Well, that's cool. Advisor costs go down. Nito. Actually kind of a good thing. Can't you dismantle the Empire? If there are no electors? Uh, the goal is to not make that happen, though. We want to become an elector as Cleavies, with our Sleevies. I'm not going to rival him now, though, because then he's going to pick up another alliance. I don't know why that's a thing, but, like, I can just tell you from anecdotal experience of, like, 6,600 hours that if we rival him right now, 100% chance he'll pick up at least two more allies. At least two more. But if we don't rival him, he might just stay with just the one, which we can beat, so. How do you con convince Austria to give you electorship? Well, it helps to make him like you. I think it helps to have high Diplo rep. Um, we actually didn't get the alliance secured with Württemberg, did we? Even though I planned to. Do -do -do. We also lost our royal marriage to Austria, which is dangerous, because he could potentially tie up that relationship slot on somebody else. I do want Württemberg, I think. I like how aggro he is. 
militarist dude down here that could help us kill the Platinet would be great. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is there a way to add yourself to the Empire? Yep. Alright, Center of Main just triggered. We don't really want to get involved with that, I think. Uh, we want to keep our troops free. Have I completely forgotten to revoke that province? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, we lost Stab because we were so old. I think we just still bump Stab again. Prosperity is going to be useful. I always like Prosperity. Revoke that from the clergy, give it to the burgers now. Burger clicks. Might actually, in hindsight, be better to do the burger clicks, like, last. So that you can try to time it. Around the time that the Renaissance spawns, but... Um, we'll just do them now. And if we're going to do any more dev, now is the time to do it, despite not having prosperity. One drawback is if I do more dev, then Nassau might stop being a valid rival. So I think I won't. Let's just not. We have eight force limits. Plenty. It'll be enough. He cannot be too big for Austria to pick him either. Yeah, I'm not certain what the, the threshold is. Being really small seems to help. Ignore the heresy? Lose diplo points to gain loyalty with the clergy. Well, we don't have a cardinal, and we're not likely to get one, so... Papal influence doesn't really matter very much. Losing prestige kind of sucks. The Salivis gets heresy. It affects us a lot, actually. I guess we'll lose the diplo points. I hate using modern points on that kind of thing, but... Making the clergy loyal again is pretty good. Last time you checked the file, there was a modifier to size, AE, unlawful, and friendship. Yeah, so that's one reason I keep tying up one of our slots with Austria. Right now I'm trying to get both of our allies to 150, so we can get the plus one Diplo rep. I'm saving this till we actually are going to be at war, just to make it last a little bit longer. Austria has some rebels. He has rebels. Very, very small chance he wouldn't defend Trier. Like, non-zero, non but... Very close to zero. We're not losing money, so that's a good sign. Nassau has allied Liège, doesn't matter to us. Unfortunately, even with 200 military points, we are not likely to get Miltech 4 for quite a while. Well. <laughs> Notice how Cle Cologne still has no friends? So we've allied this guy. He wants land, but not enough to come in on a war. Um, anyone else we can ally, even just temporarily, to use their army? I keep forgetting to actually up, like, get this alliance established here. Whoopsie. I open with a royal marriage and then forget to do the actual alliance. Let's see. I want to attack Cologne. No one's, like, really, really super interested in coming in. Better when they want to come in red. And they don't. Can we still call Munster in? Yes. Okay, so Munster wants to come in. S. No. We'll just have to go with Munster. This is, uh, this is fine, I think. I think we can do the war now. How long until we can get our general? Till February 26th. Let's just wait till the week we get the general. And then, uh, then we'll do it. If I get these guys a little bit higher, we'll be fine. So, like, three months. We declare with a promise of territory. Munster comes in. Um, we don't give him any territory because, you know, helping AIs is dumb. How many provinces do you think we're allowed to take? Can we can we take Cologne? Like we want Cologne to die. I want to take that level three fort from him, and uh, that that's the easiest way I think to ensure he dies. So I think I'll do that. But. Just give Munster one? Oh yeah, actually, definitely. 
We should give them both, actually. We can kill an Elector right now. Why not just kill an Elector? We kill the Elector, release Cologne as a one-province minor subject. We're still a two-province dude, which should make the Emperor like us more. We might even, it's theoretically possible, if he liked us enough, he could actually just give us the Electorship right now. Because if we kill the Elector. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna revoke this from the Burgers again. We're gonna give this to the Nobles instead. That gets us all of our land force limit back. Unfortunately, if I want to get max, max points, it is a temporary thing, and I do want max points. We're gonna do that. Our general is a 2-1-1, not great. We don't have tech 4. We won't have tech 4 for quite a while. Yeah, I think we do this. Ally an elector and lose to an OPM to give him your ally. That that would uh, assume that the OPM can beat the elector. Could be a thing though. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do this. If we just hang out in defensive terrain and we wait for the other guy to attach, then it should be fine. Um, I'm gonna mark this as vital interest. I'll mark them all as vital interest just so I have control. Uh, stay attached to us, and if we do this, he's going to have to come through our land. Let's wait till he's, like, out of position. And we'll stack wipe Nassau, and I just want to knock out, knock out Nassau right away. So that we can get, uh... Get that Humiliate active. And hopefully, we're wanting someone to kill Nassau so we can clear the rival status. We are at war. Go ahead and turn that one on now. Being at war brings this guy high enough that he's at 150 plus. We just need mines to like us by 150 now. It's fine. Take your max army bonus. Yep, thanks. Goofer, thank you for your sub, sir. We also have the morale of armies advisor, so we should be doing pretty well morale wise at the moment. 2.91 versus 2.6. Stacking those bonuses can be pretty good. Go for it, buddy. Get him. Nice. He picked off the cab. Smart. We have no siege pip. I don't think he's coming for this army. Making progress on this is not as important, I think, as just keeping our army safe. So, it also gives him more participation. What will be my first playthrough when Emperor comes out? Well, I, I definitely like the idea of doing a campaign in the HRE, for sure. Considering the Emperor changes. We'll go down to a barebone siege just so that this guy maybe leaves us alone. He's gonna keep on trying to train Latin knights. We'll pick those off every time they pop out. Um, oh, that was quick. All right, so we want to keep Nassau at war until someone else attacks him. So, for example, Mines, who really wants that land. If we could, we wanna we wanna peace out Nassau and make him lose all of his alliances, except for the one that he's got with. Cologne, because Cologne won't defend him, and then Mines will just jump on him and then remove this guy from the map. So that's probably the game plan. We should wait for that guy to pop out so we get an extra kill. And we should probably actually get, wordy, get, get to working on this. Send two infantry to here, plus this guy over to here. Well, that's not ideal. Why are you coming over here? Where are you going? Um, grab on the 8th. It's a little bit too fast. He might be coming to fight our, our thing there. Come back from mines for a sec. Why am I improving with mines? Right, because he's my ally. I knew that. Militarist ally. Interesting that he's not actually uh, renting us his Gunnateri. He's a militarist. I'm at war with his rival. So... Hmm. 
Not sure. Make the leader a general? Uh, we could. Uh, the fact that our, our heir is better is, is a pretty good argument for it. He does have a siege pip. Uh, we have no siege pips over here. It's kind of risky because we could lose two stab, and I've already bumped stab once. So I think I'm just going to piece this guy out now. We're going to say we want to humiliate for the H bonus. And then we want to strip away his allies that aren't Klee, Cologne. So no more Hess, no more Liege, no more Platinate. That leaves him with no one to defend him, and we're hoping that our ally will come in and kill him, and then clear the truce timer with that. And then hopefully he'll also accept unlawful territory from Austria, in which case we can reattack Cologne, or sorry, Nassau, before he disappears. Seems fine. So he's only allied to Cologne, and Cologne is occupied and besieged. It's quite possible that Mines makes a, a play here. Mm. Vassalize Cologne, then just integrate, and you get Electro status right away. Well, you have to inherit. If you integrate a, a dude, if you integrate, like make a vassal, and then click Annex, then you do not inherit the Electorship. You have to inherit the Electorship, meaning it has to be a personal union over an Elector. You have to wait 50 years to, to actually be able to inherit, and then you have to actually inherit. You still can't integrate the PU. You have to actually successfully inherit the Electorship. So there's still an RNGesus element to it, because even with high Diplo Rep, you might only be able to get up to like a 30% chance of integration. So you've got to just let the game run for like 100 years, because 50 years for the PU, plus however many times it takes for your rulers to die, you can kill your guy every time it becomes possible, um, which can be good. Ooh, prestige Diplo points, or a half price Diplo Rep guy. Well, we don't really have any money, so I think we just take the direct points, sadly. Dude mines, uh, go attack him while he has no friends. Sweet! That was the game plan. Best case scenario is that Mines conquers it, because he's got the claim, we knew he did. And then he is afraid of Austria, so he spits it back out again. And we want to be at peace, so that we can, um... Immediately... Immediately declare a new rivalry and attack him. So I'm gonna risk the chance that our guy dies by putting our stab leader there. Take this triple rep. Our stab leader? Our ruler. That's what I meant to say. Unfortunately, we have to piss off the nobles. Hopefully that doesn't affect our force limit. It did. Uh, we could just lower autonomy soonish. How close are we? We have 1.2 and 0.56. We're off by 0.24. Lowering autonomy gives us that much. So we could just stay over the limit for a few months, or I could do some dev clicks. I could dev click or two in the capital. It'd have to be three, but... Hmm. I don't want to do dev, really. I think we just... Spend some money, it's fine. Alright, mines, go, go, go. Kill that guy. Well, kill him, but don't kill him so fast that... I haven't killed this guy yet. 21% chance for him, 21% chance for us. Sorry, negative 21 for him. Would you briefly hire a Diplo Rep Advisor, if available, to increase the odds that you get appointed Elector when Cologne dies? Uh, well, I didn't... Yes. You know what, in fact, we have enough of a treasury, I think we just do hire this guy. And I don't know, actually, how, how significant the Diplo Rep is, or whether they grant Electorship or not. But, um... So we do want to kill Cologne, because that creates a missing Elector. We don't want... Unlawful territory, because that makes Austria hate us. So we're probably going to full annex and then immediately release what we have left. So we'll give this to Munster. We will take our claim. And apparently, even though we called him in on a promise of territory, he now says he doesn't want it. So... What's up with that? Ah, it's because I said I wanted it. I wasn't actually aware that that was a thing. I had it marked as vital interest, so he didn't want it. By unmarking it, now he does want it. Maybe that explains all the times where the AI has said that they don't want a thing. Alright, well, full annexation's good. And then... 
We have our fort, which gives us some army tradition over time. It also probably gave us the extra force limit we just lost. But we are going to release that guy, which also gives us force limit. Do we want him to have Miltech 4 with us? Probably. So I think we take Miltech. Well, hold on. If we take Miltech before Nassau dies, then we might not be able to rival Nassau. In fact, we might not be able to na rival Nassau, period, if I have a subject. That's okay. Let's just release Koln now on Tech 3 so that Austria can't do unlawful territory and get mad at us. That puts us at 5 out of 4 relations. The alliance with mines was just to make us safe. I don't know if we actually need it anymore. Bum, bum, bum. The easiest one to break. I don't want to lose Munster. Or do I? I might actually want to lose Munster now. How dirty is this? Like, if Munster accepts unlawful territory, he's going to be forced to give the land back to us. And we don't take aggressive expansion for it. But he already paid for it. He's drunk now. We already used Munster. True, but we could use him again, maybe, against... Uh, where are the other electors? He's not bordering any other electors. Yeah, we're done with Munster. Goodbye. Nice to know ya. So sad. <laughs> that was the easiest achievement ever. <laughs> done. We played for four years. <laughs> not even four years. It's like four years. Three years and uh, not quite to 10 or 11 months. Done. All right. Oh shit, now what? 